Yo, 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 yo. I'm here. A little bit late, but time to do some more more hammer. Alright, all set. Just outside, it's freezing out there. I'm gonna warm up my hands with a little bit of building first. Get the models out of the way here, the semi paint the ones. A little bit of building, then straight to the painting. I wanna finish this annihilator today. Make good progress on them last time. Ever improving my camera angles. All I have left to do is just like light plates, arms, and the head on this guy. Oh, and the hands. Those are pretty easy though. Just kind of fiddly. And then, uh, yeah. Then I'll be on to the next one, which I think will be this guy. I don't think I'm going to do the prime until last. The prime will be my last one. Here's pose number two. And then prime last. Here's the prime. Nice golden chest plate there. Cool molten hammer, all sorts of shit. Easy. Hey, anyway, we can go back there. I'm gonna build another bird. Start with another bird. I think we have the bases out for the birds. So one, two, three. Oh, I got two more here. There we go. I like to start with a little bit of building because it gets me kind of focused and warmed up. So I'm gonna go with aether wing number two today, which is I built number one. It's looking like 1D over here, I believe. Let me be sure. Wait, is it? Excuse me? No, it's not. 678. 678 is 1C. Easy enough. So, let's get these brushes out of the way. I don't actually spill glue on them or something. Or whatever. My nice sable hair brushes. It's, uh, 20 bucks a pop or whatever. Alright. Uh, test, 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 test. Sorry, I just have to check my audio volumes. Uh, audio levels. Yeah, I think it's fine. Okay, cool. I uh, always move my mic around and stuff like that. Alright. That's nine. Wait. Wait, I gotta go back and check again. Is it nine or is it six? Six. Six, six, seven, eight. six, seven, eight plus a base. Is that choppy? That's yeah, a little bit choppy. That's not too bad, though. Okay. Gonna build this guy real quick today and then uh, get right to the painting because I actually want to get that annihilator done so I can post them to my Instagram. It'll be the first model I've finished this year because I took a nearly two month break uh, after the holidays I was painting hard last year and got kind of cooked and then as soon as I stopped it just took me a long time to get back into it easy to get burnt out when you're painting white armor constantly it's just like gray scale gray dark gray black white bright white transparent white like whatever shades of white that you can get going There you are, number eight, piece eight. It's a nice little three piece, so it's gonna be easy to put together. Not gonna take too much. Hopefully, the claws aren't too fiddly. Careful not to break any of those things off. I already got one of these little guys here built, like the ether wings. I'm gonna paint them pretty soon, probably. All my building tools over here. Scrapers, knives, sandpaper, firm brush to brush plastic dust off. Try to build this guy in less than 15 minutes and then just get straight to the painting. Got a lot of models laying around that I gotta build. So I like to build one and then do some painting, build another one, do some painting. And then I'm never doing too much painting or too much building at the same time. Good way to prevent from getting burnt out at one specific thing. I find if I if I build too many in a row, I just start to hate building them. 
painting not so much as long as I'm getting some color variety like uh, you know take a break and paint some orcs or paint some scenes or something like that some demons whatever else gotta buy a few more underworlds warbands to paint because those are like nice little single squad breaks you know from painting stormcast Took a little too much off there, but it won't really matter, honestly. If it creates a little bit of a gap, I'll just seal it up. No problem. I'll try and stay here. Let me move up a little bit so I'm always in the camera. Um, not just the camera camera, but the, uh, the actual hand camera here. Really gotta show off the hands if I'm gonna be a professional hand model, you know? Oh Christ, how am I supposed to get this off? What is this? It's like a tiny little nub right in the crook of the tree. I think I can just gently and carefully scrape it, no problem. That's not too bad. All right. This, mm, I don't think I need the tiny knife yet. I may, but I think this is just like a rough scrape, honestly. These wings, anything like natural, like feathers, trees, stuff like that. I don't really, I don't bother trying to scrape them too meticulously because if you screw something up, if it looks a little bit weird, it's like, oh, look, it's just like bonus feathers or bonus bark or whatever. With orcs, it's just like, oh look, their armor's extra shitty, so lore accurate. The only parts that I'm really trying to scrape down like decently are the fronts of the wings like that. And maybe like the edges of the tails, but even those, like these feathers, I mean there's a little bit of a mold line on there, but it's not really that noticeable. No one will ever see it once it's painted. I'm not trying to go too crazy with it with these uh, ether wings. Although I do plan on using them in my army once I finish my long strikes. Probably just as screens, but... To fill a few extra points. I've been trying to finish this Stormcast army. Every time I finish a squad, they drop the points. So now i got to paint like three more squads than I initially thought I had to. Started painting the last March or last April or something. and Points keep getting dropped. I'm never going to get it. I'm never going to get my army done at this rate. For sure, I have more to paint now than I did when I started because I dropped out like every um, run of Paladins list. Well, planning to run a Paladins list, and uh, every Paladins unit went down. Lord and Parrot that went down. Knight Relictor went down. All the points costs just tanked. Which is good. I mean, it's good for the army. It means you can be stronger overall, but bad when you have a lot of models to paint and it takes you a long time to paint them to begin with because you go slow oh Christ I missed this I missed like the entire ribbon rip let me see here I shade the corner of that off, make it look like a little bit of a curved ribbon. Sand, well, scrape that down a bit. I'll go over this with just a little bit of sandpaper before I uh, 
What is that? I can't tell whether it's supposed to be a mold, like whether it's a mold line or it's supposed to be a fold in the ribbon, but I think these are just mold lines. So I'm just gonna scrape that. Then this side, it kind of looks like it could be a fold, but I also think I'll just scrape that just a tad. This one doesn't need to be as scraped down. That's fine. Only a mistake if I'm unhappy with it, and I am quite happy with it. Hard to be unhappy with a funny little bird thing. Oh, whoopsie daisies. All good there. Not really a lot of mold lines on these. A few under the beak there. Oh, I'm out of the, I'm out of the camera again. Now, if I'm over here, am I in the camera? Yeah, okay. So I can stay over here. That might be a little bit easier. I'm really working hard to get better at keeping uh, keeping the pieces in the camera while I'm working on them. Same with painting. Painting especially, because sometimes I hold things at like wacky angles. Don't really realize that I'm not in the camera. good here just the tree tree should be easy give this a good clean up there a little bit along the edge here I painted too many trees I painted a lot of uh, Honestly, I haven't painted any terrain, so other than like the odd scenic base, but I painted a lot of the wooden spears for cruel boys, and they seem fairly easy, like the spear handles and stuff like that. So I think the trees. I'll take the similar approach to start black and just layer up the various types of brown. Maybe put some random streaks and stuff. And I do paint these. Probably not be for another week or two. I'll probably do these before I finish the retributors. Maybe. I got a bunch of stuff lined up that I want to paint and just not really enough time to do it. I'm gonna try and do a couple hours a night. <laughs> a couple hours a night. And it'll eventually all we'll eventually get through it all. Scrape, 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 Alright, this is fine. Honestly, this tree, let me see. It's looking tree like enough, you know? Got most of the big mold lines off. I think we're fine here. Oh, yeah, we're booming. Alright, wing number two, about to go together real quick. That's nice and polished. Quick little sand along the edges here, just to round them off and smooth them out a little. Make sure there's no like weird knife scrapes or whatever, like knife cuts or anything that I accidentally got in here. Alright, boom, 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 maybe here. At the edge of the tail here. <laughs> Rest of the body's totally fine. I don't think I even need to sand that, honestly. That's all getting glued. Okay. Treat. I just want to see if it has any recommendations on where to place the tree because sometimes the balance point actually matters with uh, with flyers. Mm, nope, pretty much dead center. Sick.
Damn, that shit stank. Anyway, so we got a nice tree on there. I like to do with these uh, basing parts just to make sure it's like really sturdy. It's just flood a little in around the edge like that. Let the old capillary action do its thing. Bird. Hello, Mr. Bird. Hmm, yeah, I did create a bit of a gap there when I cut that. That's fine, though. That's easy enough to fix. Fairly large amount of glue on this one because it's like a big sturdy body piece that I don't want to make sure it all fits. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. And then right under there, where I did goof that, the best of this disgusting garbage, the uh, sludge. The old sprue goo. Try not to get plastic bits of her. That should be all right. I just move that down there, and then I can actually just sort of sculpt that out as I need it once it hardens up a little bit. Get used to doing a bit of sculpting yourself. Good thing to get practiced at. Green stuff, sprue goo, whatever. Any chance you get to sculpt something? Scrape a little of the excess off there. And then a little bit too much there. Just trying to pull that down and kind of fill the gap and then make it look feather like. I think that'll be good for now. I just gotta figure out how this guy is gonna attach. Squeeze that together. Yeah, that looks fine. Not even really know. It's supposed kind of under the bird anyway. So this guy. Where do you go? Not here. I'm guessing it's here is the top part, right? All right, you know what? Not looking at the instructions is not helping me, so. Bird. Tree face back. Bird face forward. It's a bit of a puzzle here, honestly. Oh, I get it, okay. Bird face forward. So go here. Well, wow, this is confusing. I get it. He's actually higher up than I anticipated. I understand now. This is actually here and here, and then that goes on like that. Okay. I understand. A little bit of a, a confusion going on there, but I think I get this now. So. I'm going to absolutely blast that with glue. I want a lot of glue on these connection points on this guy because uh, these already seem a little bit flimsy. And you want to make them as sturdy as you can, I think. Oh, 
Christ. Oh god, my large uh, ape-like fingers are not cut out for this. Bro, how... Excuse me? Okay, one. Two. One, two. One, two, one, two, one, two. Please, please. Oh, this is not going well at all. I'm absolutely bungling this. Oh, wait. Yes, okay. Okay, 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 okay. I got it, I got it, I got it. Now just stay. Please just stay. <laughs> Don't make me redo this. I'm gonna use a little more glue to, to really cement this connection once it's once it's a little bit held in. Oh no! No, it's coming off the bottom. No, you son of a bitch. Don't, don't you fucking do it to me, bird. Oh, this is a disaster. This is going poorly. This is going really poorly. Real poor like here, you know? Real bungling of the... What the fuck? Why do they make this so difficult? More glue. more glue please as much glue as I can get I don't even care just give me shit loads of glue at this point oh god I even put the glue in the wrong spot I didn't put the glue in the wrong spot. Shit. How have I done this so poorly? Okay, 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 okay. That'll hold, that'll hold, that'll hold, that'll hold, that'll hold. That'll hold. That'll hold, please. That's not gonna hold. It's like some fucking Benny Hill shit, dude. What is this? Well, fuck me, I guess. Is there some reason they actually need to make this connection so flimsy? That's alright. That's alright. It's all gonna come together. Everything will be fine. Once I've like completely melted the uh, tree, I'll just sand it down. Maybe use a little bit of putty. Okay, I see that. I think the upper connection point is the more important one. I think the lower one is fat enough that it'll be okay. But the upper one is really flimsy and also really like awkward. Well, that was the bungling of a lifetime. These birds are way more advanced than the number of parts would let on. God damn. Oh no, and it's still not quite right. How am I getting this so incorrect? This is absolutely right now, though. Yeah, I get slapped. All right, we got it. We got it. I hope. Very sturdy. Don't move for like 10 minutes until this glue starts to settle, and then I go back over it with the knife. Realistically, add another half a bottle of glue to the base. Maybe some potty. Green stuff, milliput, whatever. Whatever I can to get this steady. Base requires further support, further melting, I should say. Further fusing.
Okay. I don't think that's getting any better. If that shit doesn't hold and the bird falls off, I'm gonna just like Pepe smash my entire table. No, I'll be fine. I think this is good. I'm happy. I'm satisfied. I'll scrape that rib uh, the ribbon down later to clean it up. All right, onwards. Got enough water in the wet palette? Yep, wet palette's fine. A little bit dry here, but that's okay. You can't really see the palette. I'm actually gonna move the birds away now that that one's drying. This bird also. I can't believe what a flimsy base attachment these uh, ether wings have. I had this whole idea. I was like, oh damn, I'm gonna have so many ether wings. They're so neat. But uh, yeah, I don't know if that's gonna happen. Get the palette there so you can see what I'm using while I'm painting. Brushes out. Now that the Etherwing fiasco is over. I'm going to finish this guy off. Tiny drop of gray. Yet again, bright neutral gray. I use, oh, can't see it. Use an absolute mountain of this stuff. Also use a lot of bold titanium white. These are like my bread and butter for these things. Oh, I'm just gonna have to knock them over and get paint all over them or something. Bottle dry, bold titanium white. I shouldn't have them so close to the paint while I'm pouring it. He's got a lot of stuff on him that doesn't need to be white. Also use a lot of transparent way, which I'm gonna put a little bit further away. So I'm gonna use quite a bit of that, but I actually probably took too much for this guy because I don't think I need that much left for him. stuff on my desk. I'm going to start with uh, just finishing up cleaning up the backs of these today. Up the black lining a little bit. Just make sure that I can see, or that the camera can see. I should say I can see, but I just always want the camera to be able to see what I'm doing here. I'm trying to get different camera positions and stuff that works. So. I'm gonna draw a point like right here to remind me where to put the model. Easy, nice and gentle, nice and steady, nice and slow, I don't need to go too crazy. No reason to go too fast on these.
So I get that black line tightened up just a little bit under there. Looks more like a shad or a crease in the armor rather than just like a big black patch of armor. Tighter the line is. Well, the better it'll look, but also the more room I have to actually add white highlights, which is nice. Makes the white highlighting a little bit less spooky. That's okay. The thing here is it's a little bit uneven more than anything. It's not really like too thick, it's more just uneven, but I think that's okay. That looks fine. this up too. A lot of edges here that need to be cleaned up. Oh. Need to be cleaned up. Not too bad though on these ones. It's all fairly easy. Fuck me, I guess. Uh, that's fine. Getting into these little crevices a little awkward. I'll probably have to get in there with the black. Yeah, you know what? Maybe I won't, actually. I think it's fine. It's just on the underside of the arm. It doesn't need to be perfect. No one's ever going to see that crease in there. It's a little bit wonky or whatever. I probably didn't even need to touch it up, but no problem. It's already down here. I better do these ones and have a chance to bungle these ones too. <laughs> this one, I'm gonna go for the, the old double hand brace here. Excellent, clean. The rest, uh, yeah, I have to do that part. There's a part of the wrist that I hate doing, but I gotta do it. Nice little point here. And it's gonna be this. It's gonna be really awkward to do this without. Screwing anything else up. I'm actually gonna use the top of them. I don't like to touch parts that are already painted because you risk screwing something up, but I have to. You just risk rubbing the paint off, but if I just get a little bit of white on there, that's fine.
How dry is this? That's too dry. It's a little bit of black paint on the back of my palette. I was gonna see if it was wet enough to use, but no, it's almost completely dried out. A pretty low humidity in our apartment. Okay, next. Clean these edges up a little. Try and clean up all these lines and stuff before I really go ham with the white highlights. Like shading and whatnot. These ones aren't gonna be too crazy. I don't think I'm gonna bother wet blending these. I'll probably just do a couple thin, thin highlights uh, along the edges, like a little edge highlight, and then maybe just a little bit of blending, like a little bit of a a fine blend. Tiny bit of black on the end of the palette. Need to touch up one little thing that I did here. Fine. Then also I noticed the tiniest little edge here that I'm not that happy with. Where the white was just barely fading into the uh, gold. I like to keep all the armor separated by black lining for the most part. Got a stray bristle hanging off my brush right now. A little bit of the inside of the arm, I also got a touch up here. And actually, even just a little bit of this here. Feeling a little bit like not unsteady today, but like I'm gonna rush or something and accidentally screw something up. So, just because I want to get this guy done, so I gotta be really careful not to rush on any of this stuff. Make sure I'm going slow and easy, not going too crazy on anything. You waste more time trying to rush than you do if you just go slow and steady and don't make the mistakes in the first place. I've learned that the hard way a lot, trying to repaint things over and over again. After you screwed it up and then you're trying to make it right and all this, it just it takes forever. rest of that's fine. Not really noticeable stuff under there. Feel doodles and shit, whatever. All okay, all okay. Check meticulously under the leg here. There's a little bit I gotta check under here. That's mostly cleaned up. I'm not going to see under that leg. Alright. Alrighty.
carrying on, carrying on, carrying on. So what I'm gonna do first. His hands, as much as I think they're inconvenient, better to get them out of the way. These guys, I'm just gonna just do the high points. Nice white highlight, easy, nice and clean. Leave the edges a little bit shaded. These ones, I think, I'm just gonna do even this, like like this, basically, just the tops with these knuckles. They don't even really need a big highlight. But. Tricky time getting the hands sometimes, getting them right. Pretty satisfying when you do get them though. Don't need to do the rest of the thumb, it's just gotta be the knuckles. Underside is um underside's pretty pretty good. This is just uh Easy little highlight there, no problem. I'm trying to get a little less meticulous with my hand painting. I used to be pretty like try to be like super accurate or whatever, but these uh, I just slap a little white dot in there. Look fine. Never even be noticeable if something's a little bit goofy. Same with these. Get his little thingies there. May have to like slightly touch this up if I move it a little, but whatever. All right, easy money. This finger, this finger. Once you've done a few of these, they're not so bad. The hands are always scary because it's like, oh my god, there's so much detail. Like, I mean, not really detail, but 
when you're black lining everything you, like this trying to create like really deep shadows really high contrast you don't really want Excellent screw you don't want to be repainting them well first of all because then you lose detail but it's, it feels like it's easy to make a mistake so that's what I'm trying to get it trying to talk while focusing just like spaghettiing my words here well just like that just like that I screw up one of my lines I always keep a little clean water dish next to me just in case I have to the very least thin some out and, and just pull it off if not completely wash an area out but that will be an easy fix I just gotta gotta retrace that one little spot with black that's not too bad There. Just one more tiny drop of white on the end. I find this white paint is tricky because it gets uh, it gets really thin. It's like a naturally thin paint for how how like dense the pigment is in this pro acryl stuff. It's a little bit runny sometimes, it feels runny. I'm trying to keep this guy in the camera, but. black and then white and then gray and then black and then white and then gray and then I spent all night trying to fix one finger. There we go. Perfect. Easy. Done. Satisfied. Alright. Hands. Done. Now there's the back of the leg here, which I'm mostly just going to do white paint here. I'm not, I'm not going to do any blends on this. I mean, I may, but we'll see. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wing this one, but I'm pretty sure all I got to do is just this, just an edge highlight on this one. Try not to get any more white on this metal, on the chain mail. Nice gentle little highlight along there. Bit of an edge highlight on this. Don't get any white on the gold because the gold, the gold is where I have to be really careful. Because the gold, if I screw up the metallics, then it's like a huge hassle to uh, to fix. If I if I screw up the if I screw up the chain mail, it's not too bad. If I screw up the gold metallics, it's like four layers, and I have to figure out like what layer is screwed up and what layer needs to be corrected. There's a wash. There's like you know. I still in the thing. Yep. Nice, sick. Now this, I just try and go like this. I think and. 
That's fine. Do with this is basically just do like a like that, and then I'll uh, do a super light glaze of the gray in there, and then just a bit of transparent white just to round it off, just so it looks like it's shaded into the back of the leg like that under the leg crease. Probably do the same on the other side. This one's more of a leg plate, but I'm pretty much only going to highlight this portion of it white and even just like Like just here where the light would actually hit it, but even then I mean these leg plates don't really need big highlights Like this one I can basically just I don't even know if there would be light hitting this, but I'll just do a little bit in there Just so it looks like at least I made some effort on this one Like that, not too bright. A little hit of white in there. There we go. That's fine. And this is just like a real light glaze here, not too much. Basically just trying to smooth down that highlight and make it look a little bit less white and a little bit more gray in there. You can't really see because I've got large clumsy hands that are blocking it up, but we are getting there. Hmm. Like that. Be fine once it dries. I can hold them. Keep accidentally like knocking just little bits of paint off the edge of the hammer. For some reason, the black does not stick that well. The coal black. So if I even just like bump the edges of these, especially just in these tiny little nubbins in the hammer, even just bump those, I pretty much rub the black paint off and then. I mean, it still kind of looks burnt. It's like really unnoticeable, but I spent all that effort edge highlighting it black. I may as well have it complete. Crystal, that's fine. All right, check that. Actually, I'm just going to hit this with a hit that thumb part with just a little hit of transparent white just to smooth it out a bit. Same with the black of the leg, back of the leg here, transparent white as well. Takes quite a bit. I feel like I'm just spreading like Elmer's glue on my models when I'm using the transparent paints with uh, these like Pro Curl transparent paints. They're like really thick and gummy, but <clears throat> they're not too bad. Okay, the back of that leg's fine. I think I have an idea of how I'm going to do this one, which I think is just going to be like actually just like here. Big thick layer because I'm going to wet blend this. So, like this. A little bit more paint here. Oh god. There's like some dust or some shit in the paint, whatever. And this. 
Blend it in a little bit. Get a bit more of that there. Blend it in down here. I'll have to edge highlight it anyway, so just do this. There we go. <clears throat> and we're going to kind of do something like this down here. White down here. Sort of along to the back here, just along there a little bit. And up to where that blend was, just sort of connect that up. Same with this, just a little bit like that. There we go. So that, you can see the rough highlight sort of like laid out there, I think. Let's see. Turn that out. You can see where I've. Oh Christ, I gotta turn all these lights off. In theory, you can see where this highlight's been laid out. If I were to pull that down a little bit. So I just created a like, highlight on the leg. I don't know if that's correct. That's just what I like to do. Try and get that sort of high point on the leg and then sort of streak the highlights along the edges. <clears throat> then I glaze that. That's just like a base, sort of like a rough highlight. Like guide highlight, I like to call them. I don't know if that's the correct terminology, but. And I'll thicken up the one in the leg here. Actually, thicken up the white parts. I'll go over it one more time before it's done, but. Thicken it up so I know roughly where the whitest parts are going to be, like there, and then here, and then down here. And this part that's sort of hanging down here, I like to give those a nice bright little hit of white. Now we start hitting the glazes, which are not going to be too crazy, just a little bit. Just like here, maybe. Really try and thin that out a bit back towards the white, the main white highlight. Just a little bit there. It's not too bad. Pretty much have to let that dry now. It's got to completely dry. Hmm. This one actually needs a little bit more transparent white here. Just a thin coat, just to thin that out and. Actually, not even a thin coat. A bit of this looks kind of chunky and still a bit gray here. Bit more Elmer's glue on my model. That's fine.
And you're kind of glazing back to that bright neutral gray. Because I felt like I put just a little, went a little too white there. And here I'll do this. Yeah, sometimes you gotta go back over it and clean it up a little after you get these blends if you're not completely happy with how it looks. But now this, I want to get almost that entire edge there, especially because that lay sends around the front, so I kind of want at least a bit of an edge highlight down here on the front side as well see that try to even that out a little bit and then Getting there, getting there. Very calm, very chill. Just uh, gentle blends. That is starting to look nice there. Oh, sorry, I'm out of the camera here. I'm going to try and rotate a little bit more so I'm just always in the camera while I'm working. It needs to be almost directly in front of me, and then when my hands are here, I'll pretty much always be in it. Like this, obviously, just keep going. Keep glazing just calmly and slowly. Never want to go too hard all at once because then it dries and you realize you've done like too strong of a blend. That's good. I just have to clean this up just a tiny bit.
So highlights always require a lot of focus. I'm not talking too much because I'm just really trying to focus on where that pigment goes. It's really hard to spot sometimes. Change the angle a little bit. And you generally want to be pulling away. Always pulling the paint towards the darkest point. So if you're doing white to gray, you start in the white and then pull the pigment towards the gray because it'll settle where the brush leaves the model. This actually just has to get an actual little bit of gray there, which is really annoying because I have to get a quick little tiny bit of white and before it dries, I gotta go, ah. and blend it back down make it look smooth I need to I, I may actually try and figure out different colors to use to this I think the bright neutral gray is really hard to make it look like a, a smooth transition between the white and the gray because they're actually fairly different colors I almost need like a blue of sorts or something I struggle a lot with this bright neutral gray Oh, I'm out of the camera again. Yet again. It's still glazing up here as well. Getting close though, getting close. I think that's pretty good. I'll let that dry and then I'll do a transparent white and see how it looks. Then I may just touch it up a little bit once I got some transparent white on there. Like this one actually needs a bit more transparent white too. But just here I think. There we go. That's dried up. A bit more of this. Really flatten that out and get a good thick coat right where that blend meets. I like to just coat the entire thing with it honestly. Start in the gray and coat it all the way over to the white and then then you actually like for some reason when you get this transparent white on it gives you a really good sense of where the blend is and where the lines still are they need to be made a little bit more seamless I don't quite figure out why but I find it's more less good just as a paint on its own more good as just a gauge of where you're screwing up your blends see that hmm. yep there it is it shows like perfectly And I think here. Just really clean up that edge highlight a little bit. this back into the camera yet again for the eighth time one of these days I'll get improve at keeping my models inside the camera while I'm painting them 
or realistically I'll just get a camera with a wider angle. Pretty fine there. Almost done. Yeah, another go with the white. Just gonna pull just a little bit of that out of there because we got a little bit of transparent white in the black. Luckily, it does not create like a super thick coat that will ruin black lining too badly. As long as you get it off early, it's not really noticeable. I've basically done there. Only thing I really want to do is get one more final. Line up there. For that's gonna be absolutely the brightest. There we go. at it later but I think for now it's I'm gonna call that one done okay backs of the legs I'm gonna get some water real quick finish the backs of the leg plates arms wrists hands everything in the head and then we'll be done Next, carry on that line. I want the light point to be somewhere around here, I think. Try and keep things moving down the same line, and I think same on the back here. So I think if I just go like this, start with here, we get a pretty good little bobble there because I'm just gonna just gonna blend this out for now. And then up here, the white will come up. And then out. Straight into edge highlights, just like before. Same with here. And down here. And basically just blend all this, like this. Maybe blend that in there, like that. I'll probably just put a white there, and then. Blend this out and then just polish that off once that's. I want like a nice round shape there the white on the highest point and in like the largest volume of the thing. 
Get a little water there to move that around. Try and make it nice and circular if you can. Get a little bit more in there. This is not probably not the best way to do wet blending, but kind of just trying to blend an awkward shape down, and then I can fix it with glazing. That's how I usually do it. It's almost never perfect right off the bat, and then I just fix it, fix it with glazing. It's my whole strategy. I think that's fine there. Let that dry, and then I'll start fixing it. Well, start finishing it. <laughs> like this here, I can basically just move this right up. It's like right off the bat, pretty much. Well, that's drying. I'm gonna start on these here too. Uh, let's start with these because these are just gonna be edge highlighted. I'm not gonna do a crazy, uh, not gonna do any type of crazy uh, blending or anything on these. Just a little edge highlight. Hit the dude. Hit that little knob. Hit the edge. Right along here with the white. Leave a little bit of gray in there, but not too much. Do that edge as well, and just do a very, just the slightest. Even out that under edge there. The same with this edge highlight. This is actually, not exactly an edge highlight, it's a bit of a thicker highlight there, but as long as you're leaving a little bit of gray under there. This one I, I will probably actually do a bit of a blend on, but. Not a wet blend. You just bring it around the front like that. The front, just out of convenience, I'm going to make it look a little bit. I'm actually just not even going to blend that just because it's really inconvenient to do that on the front side of these. And I just don't care that much about that part. It's just a weird little shoulder bit on the back. I'll do a little bit of a blend just because it's easier. Same with this side, and that's also really narrow. That just the edge.
this one actually did goof just a tad but nothing I can't fix so. just get in there gently with that and then with this A little bit more black paint in there. Wish there was not so much dust in the air. Okay, that's close enough. No one's really gonna notice any issues there. I'll just crack the front a bit here. Make sure there's a nice clean white edge on there. Same with the bottom part. Ever so fine edge highlight. And then around the back too. This one's just straight edge highlight. No blending, no fading, nothing. This one will actually all blend up, but that's fine. Like that, maybe slanted. Kind of angle, maybe. Down here, just a, a flat highlight angle. Just like that. Oh, they're almost done. <laughs> Fan requests, yeah. Yeah, I should do something like that. I was thinking I would do like uh, followers pick color or something, like paint like a model, like get a random model or something, be like, you know, new followers get to pick the color or something, or like a poll or something like that. <laughs> I'll put in the sub goal, yeah. My uh my my Twitch tech isn't that strong yet, you know. Maybe one day. <laughs> Maybe one day I'll be able to figure out those dark magics, you know. Even poles are a little bit above me as of right now. Let's see this one. I think my first thing that I need to work on is just keeping the model in the camera. I think that's uh that's phase one of my Twitch progress. Keep the mini in the camera while I'm painting it. What else I got going on here? Let's see, that's fine, that's fine. I think I'm just gonna do here is like a really light really light like I lost, I wiped all the paint off my brush. There's no paint left. The paint is gone. Get a bigger brush. It'll hold more paint. And I can do something like this. Uh, just sort of blend that up a little bit. Something like that. 
And then I'll just hit that with a tiny bit of transparent white. That I really goof that one, eh? That's fine though. I think I gotta like clean my brushes too, and this starting to get a little bit weird. Do something. Is that in the camera? Oh, it's in the camera, but it's blurred. Ugh. I get that blend to look a little bit smoother right along the edge there. See what this one right along the edge. Put the mini in the camera before you paint it. Looks okay for now. I can go back over these anyways. At least clean them up a little bit. That's pretty good. actually I got a little more transparent white down here as well now that everything's dried down on the leg Not fast progress, that's for sure. Good. All right, I'm gonna go back to the shin plate here. First start by really cleaning this uh, pattern up here. up towards the middle just a little bit up this way like this down along here
this lower part here is actually going to be completely gray. Yeah. Beauty. Carrying on. Keep layering glazes on top of that. Highlight that edge all the way down, basically. Maybe not all the way, but like very close to all the way down into that leg crease or whatever, whatever you want to call it. Top edge. There. I guess I'm just going to keep smoothing this as we go. It's not a fast process, that's for sure. I'll just keep getting pigment on there. Gotta try and brighten up that part where the light is gonna be hitting the most. Just get the thickest like dude of white that you can get on there. Spit that around a little bit. So I'm just going to keep smoothing that blend out as I go. Maybe that's okay actually. Kinda thought I just goofed that a little bit, but that's not too bad. All right, let's see how that looks. That's a pretty good start. The thing I don't really like is this underside part where I just totally painted it gray. I thought it was gonna look good, but it just looks a little bit rough. It's not that the flat gray part is not bad, it's just a little bit rougher line than I would like. So let's just clean that up just a little bit. Just make it look a little bit sharper more than anything. There we go. There 
you got strong lights on this, it's sometimes hard to tell what you're looking at because there's actual shadows, not just the shadows that you're trying to create, but real shadows created by the lights. <sighs> Fairly satisfied with that. Final step is back to the transparent gray here. Really just thick coat that up from the actual bright neutral gray. So transparent white, not transparent gray. Transparent white. The same here. You can even use it to dark mode because this transparent white is actually slightly darker than the uh bold titanium white. But this stuff definitely makes the gray look less gray and more white. some of that there, some of that there, a little bit more of that here, but really try and move it to the places where you want those blends to look a little bit smoother. I think that's pretty good. I want to do the same up here actually. there. Good thick hit of it there and a good thick layer here as well. Try and pool it a little bit where you think it needs to cover up a rough blend or something. I might come back to that a little bit later. Most of this stuff I'll just take one more pass over just real quick before I actually call it done done. I think I'll finish up the face. I did a few like, I guess shadows, you call them shadows with like this was a uh, dark warm gray. Just to get a little bit more contrast in the face and a little bit more of a shape to the helmet. And then I'll sort of work my way up from there straight to the white. Just touch up the shadowing a little bit. Give the face a little bit more definition. That's what I'm going for. Definition. I want the shape of the face to be a little more defined than just two layers. Usually you need like three, sometimes four layers to get that sort of face shape that you want, especially if you want to make them look like angry or something or like that's some kind of expression or something, you know. Almost looks like he's wearing eyeshadow right now, but that's fine. Christ. Tiny little dot. 
inside the mouth. That's annoying, but not too difficult to fix. Just shadow the mouth out a little bit more, even. That's good. Find the the faces aren't too terrible to do once you get the hang of them. Okay, got a little bit of definition in that in there. So I'm just going to figure out exactly where the brightest parts are going to be. So I think it's going to be pretty much the whole top here. Rough that in a little bit. Definitely here, down here, down here. A few dots here. Actually, I'll just do the whole brow. Like that, like this the sun's coming from the top down you pretty much want whole top of the head there's some sharp points here like down here along the brow so on the edge of the brow there and follow that tops of these will be white Tops of the spikes, bridge of the nose, especially. I don't think I'll do the sides of the nose, but the bridge, especially, needs to be white. Very bright. Whole brow. I don't think this is like super accurate, but the whole brow, I'm just going to do bright white. Really give it like a white, sort of bright definition. Bright contrast. I don't know what these words are. I don't know what any of these fancy artist terms mean. I'm just guessing, honestly. People start talking about like volumetrics and shit. It's like, damn, bro, you're way smarter than me, that's for sure. I just guess. Guess where things go. <laughs> Color theory and stuff like that, you know? I don't think any of that's really important. It's all just people trying to act smart. As long as your model looks good and you're happy with it, that's all that matters. I mean, it doesn't mean you look good as long as you're happy with it. That's the only thing that really matters. When you are done painting it, if you are satisfied, then it's perfect. So I don't really like painting competitions, or at least I don't like the idea of them. I've never actually entered in one, but I don't like the idea of taking something that should just be like a fun thing and trying to make it competitive. It's like music. They do a lot of music and music competitions are just ugh. Trying to judge a subjective thing objectively is stupid. people to flex their egos because they're feeling insecure or something, you know? I don't know. That's a pretty good start. I'll strengthen up those highlights. I just got to do the back of the skull here. The back of the helmet or whatever you call it. 
back of his dome. Straight through there. Alright. Not too bad. We'll clean that up in a minute. Alright. There's sort of like base highlights down on the face. Too awkward of a shape to do any type of like wet blending or anything on this, so this is just a straight glazing show. Get a little more water here to quick break. Trying to get him in the camera there at the very least while I'm gone. Ugh. What a slog. Things take longer and longer every time I do them. It's crazy. Alright. The last ones I did the head and oven's gold, but these ones I'm just gonna go. Boop. There's one. Actually, this whole thing is gonna be white all around it. And this, just the top, is gonna be white. And there. Same with this because the ones are kind of at an angle. I'll just kind of guesswork, anyways. Boop that, boop that. Try and do this from an angle that, like, maybe the sun might actually hit it at. Then these ones, the same thing, just the top. So let's try and add maybe a little bit of color to them or something. Or like, I'm sorry, a little bit of shape or whatever to the highlight. This and this white as well. A bit of an awkward shape there. I want to be like kind of like almost like a weird shadow, like so like a half shadow or something. Like the sun's hitting at like a strange angle or something. Yeah, basically just start shading or blending or whatever you call it. I guess you'd call it blending. Try not to knock any paint off the edges of these uh, gold things. These weird shoulder domes or whatever you want to call them. I haven't called them shoulder domes. Actually, like, my least favorite part of the models are the stupid shoulders. I wish I had like regular shoulder pads. They just like l they look kind of goofy to me. As much as I like annihilators, I actually think annihilators like really cool models, but the weird shoulder domes are just never been my thing. Never been for me personally. Well, they're sort of growing on me. Maybe. The more I look at them.
slow, tedious. <laughs> Slowly build those highlights up, or those blends, or whatever, you, whatever you want to call them. I have to wash my brush out pretty soon. Like with soap, not just uh, not just rinse it. It's getting pretty uh, scungy here. Trying to make these look almost like skull masks, but not quite. Just a hint of like skull mask appearance on these guys. Make them look real miserable and cranky, you know? They're having a fucking bad day. Like that. Just a little hit there. Let that dry. Back of the head needs just a little bit more shading, I think. Blending. Blending. I'm trying to use the right words. Blending. I guess I just want to even off the chin a little bit. Chin is looking just a little bit rough there. A little more even now. Hmm. Not really happy with this lip, this top lip either. There we go. 
this. My old friend, Transparent White. It's on the front there. Where it should be a little bit less white. Up here, I do this because it should be very white. And there's the head done. Nice. Just take a look at this in thorough lighting. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. There we go. One completed annihilator face. A little shading there along the sides, on the front, give them a bit of contrast. Make them look a little grumpy there. I'm gonna just reposition this light a little bit. Kinda want it more facing me so I have a better view of the model. There we go. We're getting there. We're definitely getting there. Three, four, five, plus the wrist. I don't know if I'm going to finish this guy tonight. I'm getting really close. But man, it's dragging. It's already nine. Give it another half hour. I was really hoping to have this guy done tonight. Hands are done, head's done. Backs and legs are almost done. I'll do one more leg plate at the very least. This one here. Hey, yep. Sub to you with Twitch Prime? No, no, I don't have a sub button. Ah, you need enough, uh... Yeah, I need to be an affiliate. Wow. Maybe one day. <laughs> Oh shit, are they getting rid of Twitch Prime? Damn. I was just getting fixed up to start e-bagging for Twitch Prime subs. Please, sub with Twitch Prime, please. Oh. I'll die without it. Twitch Prime is the only thing keeping me off the streets. Yep, no affiliate, that's for sure. Man, I'm still not happy with how that looks. It's so annoying. One leg plate's just weird. I got like a weird... Okay. All good. I'm probably gonna take a break in a bit too. Okay. Maybe switch to some Tarkov once Oscar gets home from B-ball. Maybe switch to some Tarkov once Oscar gets home from B-ball. <laughs> Something like that. Oh shit! It's already after nine. I was getting late for gaming. I hate gaming after nine. Really start ram jamming these highlights in here. These are again just like bulk glazing highlights. Fairly thick glaze too on these. I don't really want to take out more white, but at the same time, I'm already starting to run low. Oh, I don't want to go to the magic bottle. No, 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 I have, I have another bottle. No, I mean, I don't want to take out more white out of the bottle. Oh, thank God. <laughs> 
No, 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 we're not going to the stronghold anytime soon. I've got everything I need. I can't spend any more money. I, mean, I could, I could, I just don't want. I mean, I do want to, but it wouldn't be financially responsible to spend any. Yeah, yeah, everybody, every uh, Twitch primes get Twitch primes in the subs so I can go buy more paints and plastic. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're right, you're right, you're right. What was I thinking? What was I thinking? Please, I'll start a GoFundMe. I need a GoFundMe to go buy paints. Hey guys, I've only got 40 bottles of paint here. I need another 75. I need another 75 shades of white and gray. Please, give me your Twitch Prime subs. Oh yeah. True. Games Workshop would love it if they could somehow convert Twitch Prime subs into paint, I'm sure. They would be all over that shit. Hot diggity dog. Games Workshop needs our money. Oh, I'm out of the camera there, Jesus. Can't believe how much of that white I went through. I have a fresh bottle. I have an unopened bottle of this uh, unopened bottle of this white. So I'm not worried about running out anytime soon. Just don't want to put more on the palette because I don't think I'll get through it all if I take another whole blob of white out. Huh? Oh yeah, true. God damn. Order a goddamn uh, Pro Acryl base set of paint. I just get that piece of dust off there. Pro Acryl base base, like hundred fifty dollar box of paint. Shit took like eight months. I mean, not actually eight months. It took probably about two or three months to show up. And by the time it showed up, I, I had like a gift card. So I was like, oh shit, I'm gonna spend on the paints. So, well, then by the time it showed up, I went out and. Blew the gift card. The on, day before. Yeah, literally the day before. And I was thinking, I was like, man, I went out and bought the, the Thunderstrike Spearhead, which is like the, it was a Christmas box last year. And I was like, damn, you know what? As soon as I buy this, they're going to call me. I'll probably go into the store to buy this, and I'll be like, oh, by the way, your paints are there. I was worried they were going to run out because Christmas was coming up. And then, sure enough, I buy it, and then the next day, like, hey, by the way, and they call me, and oh, your paints showed up. Sick. Whatever, I wasn't mad. I got both. I still went about the paints. I just didn't have the gift card, which would have made the paints more affordable. Pro Krill shit ain't cheap. Oh, uh, no. I don't know who you think is watching. I think it's just you. <laughs> oh, for the VOD. Yeah, true, true, true. All my many VOD viewers, people who are watching an entire two hour VOD. Yeah, I mean, wait, were they watching the whole thing? No, they... God, no. I had a, my last VOD got 100 views, but I had an average view time of like fucking uh, two and a half minutes or something. Oh my God. Someone watched it all the way through, though. I got fucking four hours. I have four hours total watch time for that VOD. Someone was watching that shit for sure. Alright, so that one person watching it. It's probably Oscar. <laughs> I'll wait till I have more viewers before I tell my real juicy stories. Nah, he's a b-ball, I think. He's usually back around 9.30. I know. I need my Oscar view bot. My viewer numbers are rapidly tanking. Maybe Monday's a bad night for Warhammer. People aren't watching people painting Warhammer on Monday night, apparently. Sorry, there, there's a lot of people. No, I said people aren't watching 
People aren't watching Warhammer streams on Monday night, apparently. It smells weird out here. Does it? Mm. Like Twilight Zone weird, or? Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Dust! There's so much dust. Maybe it's the rice, or the fridge, or the garbage? No, it's like a little bit hairy dust. It's not... No, no, I meant the smell. Oh, maybe. It could be the garbage. There's no rice out here, though. No, the, this rice. Oh, do you take it out? That rice is still good. Oh, well, too late. Yeah, whatever. It's fine. Honestly, there's only like a little bit of any left anyway. Yeah, it's not really enough for a meal. Yeah. I could have made a fried rice, I guess. That's about it. Oh. But that wasn't in the plan this week. That's fine. That's fine. Oh, it's Oscar. Yo, how it do? Finally back from B-Ball. The painter's just going to talking this. about you and what a bad friend you are. Yeah, Lindsay was very upset that you didn't leave your uh, computer open to view about my stream while you were at B-Ball. You miss... Oh, yeah, you really can't see shit, dude. <gasps> he did forget. I knew it. What if I do this? Can you see better? Because... I'm really trying to get that. Oh yeah, that's better. I need it to be like, yeah, like that. Cause then when I really hold it up like this, you still can't see shit, but whatever. I wonder if your Warhammer posture is getting better. Fuck no. No, I mean, cause now you have to sit up straight to it. If anything, it's better. getting worse because I'm sitting at like horrible, awkward angles, trying to get, <laughs> trying to see both, see the model and. Keep it in frame. And keep it in, keep frame. It in frame. Oh yeah, I know. Oh yeah, you're right, it is whatever. There's no one watching anyway, it's just you and Oscar. Oh, Oscar, I got a juicy real estate link for you. Uh, let me let me get my snack and I'll send it to you. We're gonna go see it. Yeah, we're going to see it with Ed on Wednesday. Oh my God, how much yogurt do we have? Almost none, actually. Oh, oh, are there lots of starters in there? Uh, let's see. There's. Because I ran out of actual homemade yogurt this like today. There's two on open starters. Oh, sick. All right, well, I'm not in as dire of a situation uh, tomorrow morning as I thought then. Alright, that leg plate's looking pretty good. No, this one's unopened too. A video from this one. Which video? Do you send it to Lindsay or do you send it to me? Is it a real estate video or do you just post it in the Discord? Alright, check it out. Here's, here's what I've been painting. So, I gotta turn all these lights off because you can't see shit if I don't turn the lights off. Oh, the Surrey thing. I don't know if I, I watch that. Gotta turn the lights off here. There we go. No, it's all good. Let's move this over here. So I finished the face, as you can see. A lot of contrast and shading and whatnot on the face. Let's see if I can get that to zoom. Probably not. El Zumo. God damn it. Okay, it needs a little bit of light. A little bit of contrast and shading on the face. Bunch of leg plates are done now. Both the back leg plates. Uh, I just have to do these under things, like these weird ankle plates on the back. Elbows and wrists, and then it'll be done. Oh, and I built this bird, which is mad at me, dude. Holy, this was the worst fucking thing one. Worst one to build yet. Actually? Oh my god, the attachment point on the tree is like so annoying. It was like so fiddly. I still have to clean it out. I gotta wait for the glue to dry a little bit more, but bird number two so now I got two of these little birdmen little stormcast birdmen here sorry no that's fine I don't think it's making that much noise the mic is over here yeah it's pretty sensitive it'll pick it up <clears throat> oh on the back plates yeah I think I went over it off stream again once I finished um, once I finished that stream I went over the back plates again I, had, I just went and touched them up I didn't really go over them again but this light is actually way too harsh, huh? I'm gonna just turn this down a little bit. It's too harsh to show on, to actually be able to see the blending. It's like too white there. You can sort of see it. Anyway, yeah. Uh, it's so hard, like the regular light just totally, it makes it like impossible to see, uh, see the shit, I don't know. See the difference between a gray highlight and a white highlight, or like a gray base coat and the white highlight. But 
getting their hands are done, I just gotta do the wrist plates. And these underarm plates are pretty easy. It's just like an edge highlight. Edge highlight, this one's just a little highlight. Same with this. What's up? Oh, the yogurt freeze? Yeah. Yo, don't throw that out. It's really That's mucky. Fine. Oh my god. Mmm, delicious. No, that. What was that? I don't know. It had a bunch of stuff on it. It's like five. Oh. One second, I'm all covered in yogurt. Yeah, I warned you. Alright, nice and clean, nice and clean, nice and clean, nice and clean. Yeah. Don't use this starter, I think I may have corrupted it. All good. All good. Yeah, I think I'm done painting for tonight. This guy is coming along pretty good. Oh, he's in the wrong spot. No, oh, he's still in the wrong spot. Bro, these camera angles are so hard to figure out. I see like some kind of gigawide camera angle or some shit. I don't know. There, now he's in frame. Do -do -do -do. Alright, I'm hopping off. Uh, maybe I'll hop over for some games in a minute. I'm gonna get a snack, but uh, then I gotta wash my brushes. But if anyone else is watching, uh, wait, what's an idea? Oh, a framed area. I think I just need. I need. I need like. I I need to put the marker here. Like I actually need to paint the marker on here. Um, because it, it's not that. It's not that I have trouble with the camera here. If I'm looking, if I'm looking over here, I can see obviously like it's in or it's out or whatever. But when I'm here painting, I can't. I'm just like not paying attention. So I need like an X or something here where I can hold it and it's like always in frame basically. And I set up the camera around the frame or over the X. Yeah, just so I know where I'm painting while I'm painting or like know where the camera is while I'm painting. I think that's gonna be the real solution. I'm gonna move the palette back real quick. Second, I can spit the towel here and clean my brushes. Uh, small paper towel. Brush cleaning process since it's all gunked up with paint. This bottle of like brush soap here. Let's put a drop here. Actually, a little bit of it on there too. So I like to suds it up there. Yeah, exactly, yeah, like some kind of little X on the floor, like, on the map below, yeah. Yeah, like an actor position thing or whatever. I guess dancers do it too. Brush is all soaked up, you get all sudsy. Let it soak in the soap for a bit. Like to do this, so show you the big brush, a nice big circle. Drag and spin. Wipe that down. Just gonna rinse them off real quick. I got this bottle of brush, whatever they call it. Brush restorer, which I use every now and then. Not all the time, but. Dry the brush. True, it was a gift from. Uh, who was it a gift from? I can't remember now. <laughs> no, it was a gift from Lindsay. For my birthday, birthday gifts. Uh, dump these in here for a minute. They just soak up this weird blue. Uh, liquid. I don't actually know what it is. Vallejo. But, yeah, so I'm gonna, uh, honestly it looks like antifreeze. It may very well be antifreeze because it tastes kind of sweet like antifreeze. I have, in fact, tasted the brush restore. Well, how is he get the brush into a perfect point? You gotta lick the brush. You guys, you know. 
They gonna roll it around in circles like some kind of like lunatic, dude? No. Knock a little of the excess off. Put these up here. You want to get your brush into a good point, right? Look at that, a perfect point right there. You have a perfect brush pointing tool right here in your mouth. Mmm, delicious. It's non-toxic. It's edible paint. It's fun. Completely non-toxic. Uh, they don't put lead in it anymore. The white paint's got titanium. The gold paint... No, gold paint's not toxic. It's, uh... Oh, what do they call it? Um, mica. Mica flakes. No, it's not... I don't even think it's metal. I, it might be metal, but it's not some kind of poisonous metal. These paints all gotta be non-toxic these days. These are, uh, high-quality paint. Pro Acryl. Made in uh, Phoenix, Arizona. <laughs> made, made in America, you know? None of these cheap overseas paints like this Vallejo shit. Vallejo's from Spain. Let me tell you some low-quality paint here. I think they've gotten better by buying the old bottles because you buy two and you get one free because it's like the old formula. This stuff could be toxic. I don't know. I don't know what's in the old formula, but. Barcelona. Anyway, I'm rambling. Uh, I'm gonna get a snack. No, hippity hop over to the computer. I don't know if I'll, nah, I could stream Tarkov. Nah, it's getting kind of late to stream Tarkov. I'll stream some Tarkov tomorrow. It was a long painting, so it was a solid two and a half hours, 220 or something like that. Uh, anyway, yeah, if anyone else is watching, thanks for tuning in. Um, also, for Oscar and Lindsay, also thanks for tuning in. It was brief, but, you know. Uh, yeah, later.